Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at how to color correct your videos using some new features in Adobe Premiere Pro CC for 2015. So let's jump right in. I got a, I have a video that I worked on actually and put on my YouTube channel a few days ago. I did a video re review of the new Amazon Echo and even in that video that's online right now I wasn't too happy with the color and I thought why not fix it well, after the fact, why not fix it and show you how? So let's take a look. So here I have the actual video. This is the finished edit um, where I talk about the Amazon Echo. And the thing I didn't like about it, if we look here at the background, it's a, a sofa here in my den. And you notice that it's kind of warm. It's kind of got like a beige tint to it. I shot this in the evening. There's a lamp on, a couple lamps on uh overhead and that's what's creating this kind of warm color so we're going to fix this a couple of ways i'm going to show you one way that's just built right in now into premiere pro cc for 2015 and then we'll take a look at another way that's even cooler with mobile apps so let's go ahead and take a look um, the first way we're going to do this is we're just going to go up to our window menu and we're going to come down to the brand new lumetri color and when i bring up the lumetri color for those of you who are photographers this will look a lot like the develop module in Lightroom or Camera Raw. So for example, I've got white balance here. So unfortunately there's not an eyedropper at this point, but at least I can just simply drag the white balance eyedropper to kind of cool the scene down a little bit. So that's warmer and of course that's cooler. And that would that alone would pretty much take care of my problem, but I'm gonna show you a couple other things that we can do along the way if it were too dark. I could simply adjust the exposure. If I wanted to fix the contrast or just the contrast, I can. And these are things, again, that are simple terms that we're used to in photography that are now here in this one easy to use Lumetri color panel. If I wanna increase the saturation, I can. And I'm almost thinking maybe I wanna repost this video because I'm liking the color so much better here in this update with Premiere Pro. Uh, if I go to the Creative tab, I've got some uh, some looks I can do as far as sharpen and vibrance and saturation. Again, taken right from the Develop module in Lightroom. And I can just keep going down where I've got curves if you want to work that way. I've got the color wheel if you want to work that way. And I can even do a vignette uh, on my video. So this will be, come in extremely handy for those of you who want to color correct your videos um, using techniques that you've learned in photography or in our other products. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to kind of um, set some of the stuff back to, to the way it was, back to zero. And I'm going to show you another color correction method um, that I'm liking even more. So let's, again, let's go ahead and put this all back to zero or close to zero and get this back to the way it was. All right, actually we can go here and we'll just type in zero. And we'll go here and type in zero and put these back. All right, so now I've got it uh, on. We want to put the temperature back to zero as well. So we'll get it back to the way it was. All right, so now it's back to the original look. Now you'll notice something here called um, input LUT or LUT. What that stands for is lookup table. And you'll see that here in uh, the basic correction. You'll see it in the creative correction where there's a uh, lookup table. Right now the look is none. And what does that mean? Where do these looks come from? Well, there are some basic looks that are built in. So we have some tables that are built in for you to use based on various gear that may have shot your video. So if you shot your video with a Canon DSLR or a Nikon DSLR or a GoPro camera, we've got some looks built in for you. But what if you wanna make your video look a certain way that there isn't a built-in look for? Well, that's where uh, a mobile app could come in very handy. Now, for example, I have a daytime shot of the living room that has the perfect white balance, perfect look that I'm looking for. And I captured it a long time ago using a mobile app back when it was Project Co or Project Candy. That was the code name for it, but it's been since released as Adobe Hue. So let's take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's launch Adobe Hue. And from here, just like the rest of the mobile um, apps from Adobe, I'm gonna tap the plus sign to create a look from the camera 
if I already had a photo I wanted to use, I can do it from the camera roll. Or if I had a photo I wanted to use that's on my Creative Cloud account, I can go ahead and get that too. But I'm just going to do it from the camera so you can see what happens. When I bring up the camera and I point it around my room, you can kind of see this, this 3D look to the colors that are happening. If that's the color scheme that I want from that mountain scene there, uh, I can just go ahead and, and capture it. And then there's a reference photo at the top. So you can kind of see what that would do to a standard photo. So if I tap any of these color balls here, I can spin them around just like um, DNA, kind of uh, color DNA here. And I can apply these looks to see what it would look like um, on that scene. Of course, I can increase or, de or increase or decrease the intensity. But once I have a look that looks kind of the way I want it to look, <laughs> a LUT that looks the way I want it to look, I can go ahead and capture it. I can give it a name. So I can call this uh, test. And I can save it, and it will save it to my Creative Cloud library. So I can choose which library I want it to go in. And I want to save it to, uh, I'll save it to my um, Adobe Demos library. All right, so now it's put that in there as test. It's also right alongside my living room daylight shot that I did earlier. So I'm going to put my uh, iOS device down. Adobe Hue is available for both. Uh, iPhone and iPad. I just did that on the iPad because it was handy, but I could also walk around and capture looks with my iPhone as well. I'm going to come around and now go to another new feature in Premiere Pro. We have the library panel, and this is the same library panel that you have in all your other Adobe apps. So if I head to my Adobe uh, Demos library, I will see the graphics in that library, and if I scroll down, I'll also see the looks. And if I uh, click the sync here, we can see that it's updating and bringing in my test look as well. Now, here's what's cool about this. The new library panel is here in Premiere. So not only can I grab graphics that I need for my videos, which I'll show you in a moment, but I can also just simply say, you know what? I'd love that evening video that I did in my den to look like the living room daytime shot. So let's go ahead and just simply drag that look or that lookup table right onto the video and look it just corrected it so let me undo it so you can see the before that's the before kind of beigey brownish and if i now just drag that over and put it right on top you can see that it color corrected it and everything looks more gray the way i wanted it to look and of course i can still go in and here's the cool thing about um, these uh, sliders here in the lumetri color panel if i go over to creative I can still increase or decrease the intensity. So if that was a little too much uh, cooling that off and I want to bring it, make it a little bit warmer, but not as much as it was, I can just simply lower the intensity of it. And that's thanks to a tip from my buddy, uh, Jason Levine, who's an expert at all this, who's a pro at, uh, at using Premiere Pro and After Effects and all the video and audio tools. He kind of gave me that uh, insight on how this lookup table works. Uh, so very cool to be able to do this. And once again, with the library support that we now have, if I switch libraries and go to my own personal private library here, I've got a library called, affectionately, My Library. And if I get out of My Library and scroll down, I've even got my logo here that now for the first time I can just easily, I don't have to go grab it and find it and look for it. I can just drag it right onto the timeline. I can... Uh, make it longer on the timeline by extending the time so we can actually see it. And of course, I can double click and scale it down. We'll scale it way down, make it nice and small. And we'll put that over in the corner of the video. So now I can have that plane, that uh, logo play back in the video across the board as I'm scrubbing through here. So we'll go back to this panel. And we'll scrub through and we can see that we've got the logo there across the board and of course we've got that lookup apply or that lookup table apply to the video as well so we have correct color corrected our video we've even used the library to bring in other graphics such as a logo that we can put on the video and we've seen how the lumetri color panel works whether you want to do it from a lookup table that you've created uh, on your own using Adobe Hue or one that you use one of the built-in ones or you want to just simply manually adjust the color in your video. So you've seen several ways to do it. 
Hope that answers the question I get all the time about how to color correct your videos. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.